How's it going, everybody? My name's Scott, and welcome to, um, to part five, I think. Yeah, five. So today is the big day, I hope. I'm gonna try and tackle down the, uh, the wall of flesh here, alright? So, first off, I need to make sure that I actually have a, uh, a, a voodoo doll. And I don't, okay. So, let's see here, then. Um, let's, I thought I, I had one. Maybe I don't, okay. It turns out I don't. <laughs> But that's okay, because today, I'm gonna make some enchantments, I'm gonna make some accessories, I got a lot of that stuff planned. So first, I'm gonna notice you can actually upgrade uh, these into these, so I'm gonna make these. So I need to go ahead and make uh, frost bark boots, I believe. Uh, so here we go, there we go, there's that. And then, I don't really know what it's what it's called here, The these ones. Okay, so I need a, a green horseshoe balloon. So, I think I probably can craft that. No. Okay, so I need a fart in a balloon. So, do I have an extra one of those? Beautiful. Okay, so now let's go ahead and craft the... This thing. Here we are. And then we can now craft... What is it called? <laughs> I'm just gonna look up boots again. Um, no. I'm missing deviating energy. Okay, that could be an issue. Although, I think I have the, um... The operator here. So, let's see if we can buy a treasure bag. And if we can't... Then, uh, then I'll fight him again. It shouldn't be too hard with uh, with this new weapon. Um, I think this is probably what we're gonna end up using on uh, on on the wall of flesh as well. So let's check real quick. So, okay, I'm hoping that we can buy a treasure bag. Okay, so we cannot. However, I do need a queen bee treasure bag. And you notice I farmed up a bunch of platinum because uh, I farmed up some stuff in the uh, in the dungeon. So. I did all that, so that was very nice. Um, let's just, uh, magic mirror home. Okay, so let's go ahead and deposit all this. And the reason why I needed this is because I needed, uh, the rest of the stuff. Because I think we're gonna, I think I can make the, uh, the bee enchantment here. So here we go. Bam. So, oh, warding. Nice. Okay, so summons pet baby hornet. Um, piercing attack spawn bees. Increase length of friendly bees. All that nice stuff. Um, so we do need the, the deviation thing, so let's go ahead and fight him again. And uh, with this new accessory, it should be a piece of cake as well, so let's go ahead and uh, and do this. Oh, there we go, okay. I think we uh, I think we got him. Um, this guy spawned. I already have one, though. I guess we have two now or something? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so let's go home, and let's make it daytime, and open up this church bag. So we got the deviating energy, which uh, which I needed, so now let's go ahead... And craft these. I just realized I did it without this, uh, accessory slot open. I took that off because, uh, I, I forgot to earlier. So let's go ahead and replace. I think this is going to go on for, hmm, I'm a little stumped here because, um, whoops, I just, uh, clicked off the game. I guess I'll go on for, uh, for the shield then. I want to keep it on though because it looks cool. But so long to, uh, to the, to the wonderful shield. Actually, I'll just take it off. Um, it, it was nice having you. Um, so let's grab my, my boots that I just made. Um, or, no, never mind. Let's, let's make the boots. <laughs> Here we are. So let's see what they do. So it allows flight, super fast running, and extra mobility on ice. Allows her to double jump, increase jump height, and negates fall damage. Okay, so that's gonna go on here. Let's see how fast, uh, we really are. I'm not sure if that's, uh, much faster. Although, let's see what happens if we... Okay, so we get that double jump. Okay, and then, yeah, negates fall damage as well. So that's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, the dash is, is probably going to annoy me a little bit, so I might have to consider putting that back on, although we'll see. Okay, that's going to go off. I think also I'm going to take this off, and I think I'm going to use this. Um, it looked pretty good, so I think I'm going to go ahead and, and try it out here. I'm not too sure if it's going to be like, you know, the meta option, but we'll see. Okay, <laughs> we'll see. So it's called the Sparkling Adoration. Uh, where's my goblin? Oh, he's over there. Pretty sure I, uh, I, I read this last time, but if you want to just pause and read that, um, you totally can. Um, I will not stop you from reading that, obviously. So I need, um, menacing or warning. Okay, I'll take either one. Alright, there we go, menacing. And then, actually, you know what? I think I'm probably gonna get my, uh, my shield back. I don't know, it just seemed really useful. So I'm gonna put that back. Um, yeah, I don't really want that pet. Um, I don't really... Need it too much. I'll tell you what, those boots do look uh, very nice, though. So I think we're probably ready for the wall. Let's go ahead and uh, spawn this dude in. 
And I need to make new armor, though. I need to make the, um, the necro set, because I am going, uh, pretty heavy on ranger, so I thought to, m to make this, and, and hopefully that will be very nice. Okay, so that's an equipable. Not sure if we'll, if we'll, if we'll use that. Although, I'll, I might consider it. Okay, you never know. Um, so I guess we'll go ahead and get rid of the, uh, the crimson rod. That's not gonna help too much. So this does 15. Now it does 16, so it does a little bit more. I also might make the, the crimson enchantment. But we'll have to see what happens. Alright, so let's reforge this, and then, uh, we'll do our first few attempts at the wall of flesh. So, okay, here we are. Demonic? Sure. Alright, so let's go down to, uh, the underworld, and I'll get a, uh, a guide voodoo thing, and we'll go again. Okay, I'm just gonna reset it right now. I don't know why. So, we ha I made two of these, um, why am I on, uh, on fire here? Hmm, interesting. I don't really know why I'm on fire, to be honest. Well, I'm just gonna leave it for now. This seems to be, uh, to do pretty good damage. So, let's go ahead, um, do this, and then spawn it in, and, uh, we'll see what happens here. Okay, spawn on the right side. Alright, so what color is it? It's like purple-ish. Okay, it's kind of a cool color. It has a Moon Lord laser. Yup, it definitely has a Moon Lord later. Okay, so... <laughs> see how we're gonna do this. I want to, uh, to take down the, uh, the Hungries first, probably, I think. Um, I, I don't really know, okay? I'm kind of just experimenting here. Don't really know what new things it does as well. Um, I don't know why I am, uh, I'm on fire right now, but if there's a way to fix that, let me know, because that might, uh, that might kill me. Okay, it's like teasing me with these hearts right now. <laughs> Also, didn't grab buffs as well, so that could be an issue. Although, uh, we never know. Doesn't seem to be going too fast, which uh, which I guess is good. Um, well, of course that's good. <laughs> so, hopefully it, it stays like this, because I'd rather it not go too fast. I also think I probably should have made, like, a second layer. So I can, like, drop down for these lasers, because they are a little hard to dodge. But I'm doing pretty good so far, I think. I mean, I don't really know, okay? This is my first time fighting Eternity Mode Wall of Flesh. I think I'm doing alright. Okay, so let's get that eye up there then. I, I kind of want to stay close just so I can see the attacks it's doing. Although at the same time, I want to I wanna keep my distance just in case it does anything cheap. Alright, okay, so that Moon Lord laser is in a bit of a weird spot. See if we can also just get some of these uh, demon scythes going as well. Okay, we kind of missed there. Uh, I think I think we're doing good damage. Okay, it's a little hard to tell. Alright, we can use some of this as well. See which one does more damage. I would imagine probably the boat, the, the bone, yeah. Okay, so I'm kind of stuck up here now. <laughs> okay, so I gotta be careful. Yeah, I'm, uh... I think there's probably a way to avoid that. So I'll, I'll definitely see if there is... Um, to avoid that, like, damage. Um, debuff the on fire. So if there is, then, uh, I'll definitely, um, look into that as well. Because I'm losing a lot of health. Or maybe that's just, uh, how the underworld works in, a, in eternity mode. Who knows, okay? Who knows? So I think I'm, yeah, I'm mainly doing damage to a... Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, so I was mainly dealing damage to the to the to top eye, or like one of the eyes, it looks like so far. So, we'll try this again, and, okay, so it, it does give you like infinite spawners, as you can see, so I, I didn't need to get two. Although I kind of just got two, like, on the way there, to be honest. Alright, so we'll try this again. Um, okay, so it, I think it, it despawned now. Okay, so first of all, where's my nurse? Alright. Is she dead? She's still dead. Okay, fantastic. Okay, well, let's see if my nurse will respawn. So I'll, I'll just keep resetting this, probably, until uh, the nurse spawns. Okay, here we are. Let me go ahead and heal with her. Let me get some buffs, okay? So let's get some potions. So let's just grab um, all the ones I have, like, a few of. I guess, yeah, I won't really need those. Okay, so let's grab these. I guess I'll, I'll grab one of those as well, why not? And, uh, let's, let's go back down to the, uh, to the underworld. Do I have a mount? No, I don't. Okay. So, we'll head back, and, uh, we'll try this again. Okay. So, I'm back. I'm at the, uh, at the underworld here. And, okay. Come on, guys. Alright. Come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. So, uh, let's try again here. And I'm, I'm hoping that, yeah, so we can't really deal damage to the, to the, to that, to the mouth, it looks like. So, you kind of have to focus on one of the eyes, is what it seems like so far. Okay, so let's just focus that, the top eye then, for now. That seems to be, like, the easier one to hit. Let me, let me buff up as well. I forgot to do that. Um, let me, let me summon this dude in as well. 
Okay, so here we are. <laughs> with, uh, with my buffs activated. It seems like the, um... The eyes kind of spread out a little bit more. Which is a little bit annoying. Although, also, like, they're going invincible for, like, half a second. Like, as you can see, you can only damage one at a time. Um, so I guess while well, that one, uh, we can't damage the top one, I guess. Yeah, right when it does a laser, um, it switches, so you can't damage them. You have to damage the bottom one. Okay, so let's try to avoid getting hit here. Okay, here we go. So now we can attack the top one. Probably just gonna devote this, devote this whole episode to this. Because, uh, I'm sure this is gonna take a little while. I'm hoping... You don't have to kill the, both of the eyes to deal damage to the mouth. And I'm hoping that it's not going to be like a a 20 minute fight. Alright. Because <laughs> I can't really tell a difference other than the Moon Lord laser so far. So I think I should probably be attacking the uh, the top one now. Okay. So we're doing alright. Doing alright so far. Okay. Um, which one should I be attacking? Alright, the bottom one. Now the top one. Okay, it's a little hard to, to tell the difference between them. I'm doing my best though, okay. <laughs> It's hard. All right, this is a, a different boss for me. Okay, not used to this kind of uh, the boss fights. Um, but you know what? What does annoy me a lot, actually. I I feel like I, I mention this a lot to myself in my head. Is the um, is what's it called? Like, <laughs> not what's it called? Um, whenever I go down and sit in my like chair to go on my uh, computer. Oh God, it flips you upside down and gives you confusion. Okay, that's a little bit of an issue. Okay, I'm still confused at the moment. Okay, so that's a thing. I guess don't get hit by the Moon Lord laser. Because if you do, um, you're going to be taking a lot of damage and you're probably going to be dying. So keep that in mind, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm, I, you never want to hit the Moon Lord laser. Okay, everybody knows that that does like 50,000 million damage. All right. Doesn't matter what boss it is. <laughs> it, it does a lot of damage. All right. So let's just keep our distance here. Um, I'm trying to get close, but at the same time get like a distance you know what i mean um so as i was saying before when i go to sit in my chair and like go on my com computer I, I feel like my chair the height always adjusts every time every time i feel like it's too high and i lower it not by just a tad bit i actually lower it a decent amount every day okay and it never is the is the right height the next day i don't know there's like a demon or a, a ghost possessed my um my chair <laughs> or something I don't know, okay? I actually don't know. But we'll try this again. Oh, they're homing hearts. Okay. So we'll try this again, though. And see what happens, okay? It's a little bit of a hard boss, although I think we get this. Okay, so we're a little bit past halfway now, and it's doing some new attacks. Um, I'll show you after this one in a, in a minute. So it does this one. So you have to get really close to the boss, otherwise you'll um, get hit by that. And that does uh, quite a lot of damage. So... Try to not get hit here by the, the cursed flame thing, whatever it's called. It also does this, like, I-Core beam. So you don't want to get that hit by that. Okay, well, I got hit by that, so. <laughs> okay, I'm probably going to die here, but this is some uh, some new attacks. So you have to get really close here. And uh, it's kind of scary, especially when it has to do a laser like that. Okay, so we got kind of far in. That was around my, like, fifth try, I'd say. I'm going to have to restock up on some bones as well, so I might go do that. Or, uh, or buy some as well. So, um, yeah. I'll just keep trying, pretty much, until I get it. Okay, so I'm getting, um, kind of far into it. I'm getting the hang of the, uh, the pattern a little bit better as well. I feel like the only thing messing me up around right now is, uh, is this phase, when it kind of spews that, like, I-Core stuff at you. I feel like that part is, uh, is really messing me up. So we're doing alright so far right now, though. Okay, this part isn't too bad. Um, so as long as I can just keep focusing, uh, one of the eyes. There, oh god, it's starting to, to speed up on the attacks a little bit. That's a little scary. All right. <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay, so we're getting pretty far in, though. It's it's doing lasers, like, every three seconds. Okay, so we have to back up here. Okay. So get the bottom eye. Okay. Holy crap. We're, we're getting pretty close. Oh, no. I'm almost dead, though. Wow. Look at that. We did that. <laughs> Ancients of light and dark have been released. We just did that. Okay. So let's get all the treasure then. Look at this. Alright, so let's go back up to the surface. And, uh, let's make it daytime. And, oh, why is this disabled? Okay. So. <laughs> okay, first off, heal with the nurse. Alright. We got this thing. Okay, so we got the flesh hand. I actually really like that. That thing is actually, uh, pretty cool. Um, we got a discount card. Okay, so I'll use that. We got some shadow crates. 
I almost ran out of buffs as well, so that was <laughs> that was very close. All right, so let's see. We got the the charm of luck. I'll probably hang on to that. We got hollowed crates and shadow crates. Okay, very nice. We got the pungent eyeball. Grants me to black out and obstruct it. Increase your maximum number of minions by two, and sentries by two. And this is a material for the lump of flesh. Okay. The pungent eyeball charges energy to fire lasers as you attack. That's actually really cool. I'm gonna make that eventually when we get all this stuff for sure. Um, I think I'll probably maybe equip this for now. I don't know. Okay, I really like that flesh hand. So bam. All right, so we got the demon heart. Beautiful. I'll equip this for now then. Um, so how many of these can I have then? Oh, it changes the number of uh, of those of the little balls. Okay. So we got the the pawn hammer, the breaker blade, and uh, we got a sorcerer emblem as well. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. So let's get rid of this, and uh, let's get rid of that. Okay, I really like this flesh hand. It's really cool. Um, I think it's a cool idea for a thing. Also, do I have any? Uh, I need some fallen stars. Okay, I need to make more mana things. <laughs> I am so low on that stuff. All right, I really need to make some. So let's see. Can we buy them from somebody? Okay. So, hmm, maybe not. Okay. You know what? Can we buy it from this dude? No, we can buy a DPS meter though. Sure. <laughs> I don't know how much gold we got from that because I forgot to uh, to check before the DPS meter. But also open these crates. We can get some starter stuff as well. That seems actually quite useful. Um. Okay. So where's my uh my other dude? Oh, you know what? I think it's this dude that actually sells fallen stars. Yes, he does. Okay. So let's buy a couple of these and let's turn these into into mana crystals. And then let's just uh, use a bunch of these. All right. Nice. And uh, we got a sorcerer emblem. Okay. So let's open these. See what we get. All right, so we got some titanium, some cobalt, some mithril, some lead, and uh, some souls of light. And then where are the dark ones? I don't know, I think I already did. And uh, no souls of night, though. Okay. So let's get all of our crates out of here, then, and uh, and open all these. Um, let me let me get a chest real quick, actually, to put everything in. So if we get uh, chests, all right, here we are. Well, let's just see what we get at the end, okay? And so let's dump. Uh, actually, let's keep the, the crates up here. So let's deposit all that, and let's open up a couple more. And we got some jungle crates. Look at that, we got another boomstick. Okay, so we got a staff of regrowth. Very nice. And then we got some dungeon crates. Golden loot box. Okay, interesting. And then we got some crimson crates. So that should give us... Okay. So here we are with some, some titanium, some adamantite. Okay. So very nice. We got a lot of cobalt. Got some mithril. All right. Let's uh let's sort that out. Uh, let's grab all the bars, and uh, and ores out then. Okay. And let's give me my sorcerer emblem. Okay. Titanium as well. And let's grab. Actually, let's just let's just grab everything. Okay. <laughs> sort it all out later. So let's go ahead and deposit all this. All right. So we got twenty nine titanium. So real quick, then let's make a uh, a mithril anvil. And, okay, or, mm, yeah, let's actually turn these into that real quick. So let's just look up bar. All right, here we are. Or no, not that one. Mm. Okay, so I don't have any ore. Or no, I have to make an adamant yet yeah, forge. Okay. So I need a, a mithril anvil. So let's look up anvil. Here we are. So let's make this. And then let's go ahead and look at the bars. So, okay. Okay, so that I need a forge for. Okay, and then I can make some palladium ore, and let's turn all, or no, actually, I kind of want cobalt. I feel like cobalt is just cooler in general, and then, okay, so then let's make a, let's drop my, uh, my health forge in here, and let's make a titanium forge. Uh, can't make, hmm, I need more ore, okay, so we'll have to mine all this stuff, but for now then, let's go ahead and make a mithril pickaxe look at that we got godly how nice and let's grab a, a singular cobalt ball bar and uh and see if we can make anything interesting here probably not yeah i wouldn't think so so that is is going to wrap up the episode here thanks you guys um thanks you guys i don't want to say okay thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one which will be our first hard mode adventure i'm probably gonna do a lot of stuff like on a stream or off camera because there's a lot of grinding to do in between these. So we'll get to, to that eventually. 
And so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.